Hello YouTube! It's good to be back, but this time I've got green screen now, so I can be before I, I start the tutorial, before I, I looked and I forgot this, that I actually joined YouTube in 2006. YouTube started in 2005. I've been with YouTube for a, a pretty long time, you know? And really the only reason why I joined it was because I wanted to share videos with my friends. Because my friends would give me ideas for videos, I would make them, they were funny, they cracked me up. I would make them and then I would post them. It's like, here, this is funny, you know? And I didn't know at the time the audience thing, like how much of an audience you can actually get with YouTube. It's been up and down, you know, but I, I really want to get back into it and I'm really digging the green screen. It's, uh, it's really fun. It's, it's, it's fun, the technology. Enough of that, um, let's get to the tutorial. So, this technique is called Parallax. My subject is, again, Jeremy, because he's the pretty one, of course. Oh, I should probably say exactly what uh, this consists. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an animated GIF. GIF. It's a GIF. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. It stands for graphic. It's a graphic. It's a G. It's a hard G. That, that good. Okay. Anyway. Okay. So here we go. Um, again, select your pen tool here, and you do the tedious task of going all the way around him. You really get to know your subjects pretty well. He wears complicated jeans, so. Um, I'll speed this up so you don't have to sit through me. My other personality. So I lost my eyes so I could see. All right, so now that I have selected all of my subject here, uh, right mouse click, smash that make selection. Okay, look at that. All right, so there he is. Go to select and refine edge. I always do output to new layer. Whoop. There's different ways of doing this. This is the way I like to do it. So we got new layer, hit okay, and look at that. So now we've got a separate Jeremy and a separate background. Okay. And this guy's gonna be backward. Okay, so before you start your parallax effect, what you wanna do is you want to take whatever you wanna parallax like out of the background. Okay, so this is how you do it. So you make sure that your background is selected and the subject that you cut out of, you hold down control and then click it thusly. There, see, so now you've made the selection of the outline, but it is actually on the background. You want to um, modify it, you wanna expand it by 10 pixels. 10 pixels, folks. We're gonna do something called a content aware. We, I did this in my last uh, Photoshop video also. And what this does is when you expand it by that, it gives it something to grab onto and actually fill it with what it thinks should be there. Um, it's pretty close. Uh, it, I've, you know, but it's it's not, it doesn't matter too much because he's gonna be in the way of most of that. And I'll, I'll show you why here in a second. So now that we've expanded it, you wanna go to edit. You want to go to fill, you want to set it a content to where you want to tick the color adaption. We'll set the opacity 100, of course, uh, make it normal, right? Yeah, normal, normal. All right, hit it. All right, so Jeremy is actually taken out of the background. The only reason why you can't see that he's taken out is because your subject is still visible. So all you do is tick this off, bam. All right, control D to deselect and look, he's, he's just gone. Okay, so now we've got these two separate beings here that we can toy with. 
we are going to go to window. We're going to go to timeline. So that way we can view our timeline. We'll create video timeline. So here's our two videos. But before you can do any sort of transformation or animation, you have to uh, create a smart object. So it's easy. You just right mouse click, convert to smart object. And the reason why you have to do that is because when you do this, you see that you actually have these different options, which you didn't have before. So good old Jeremy here. I want him to kind of zoom at us. So you hit transform. So that's that's your starting point right here. Your end point is gonna be here and control T. Make sure that he's selected too. So he's selected and we want to zoom in, but we don't want him to change proportions. Okay, so you hold down shift and you just drag that bad boy out. Okay, so you see how he's like staying in proportion, but he's zooming, zooming in. Okay, and before you can, you know, do anything else, you have to hit enter. I've done that before where I didn't hit enter and I couldn't, you can't change anything. It's really weird. It's, you feel like it's locked up, but it's still in anyway. Um, So now that we have that, check that out. He's actually zooming in. Nice parallax there. Uh, while he's doing that, which it looks great, it looks good, it looks pretty cool on its own, but we can make it a little better by making this the background actually zoom out. So same thing. Hit that. I'll make sure that the background is selected, otherwise it's gonna get all... Hit transform. But this time, we're gonna actually zoom out. So he's gonna zoom in, the background is gonna kind of fall back. So this starting point, we actually want it to be zoomed in a little because if you zoom in, See, it's just going to be like this blank thing. So, the starting point we want is give us a little bit of space there, a little bit of, a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, a little bit of work, work through there. And fortunately, he's got a little shadow that we can kind of line up with, so we're, we're pretty close there. Hit enter. Okay, so now there's, there's our starting point, and the end point. You know, see he's zooming in. Make sure the background is selected. Control T, hold down Shift, and drag that bad boy in. Okay, so now let's zoom in. We want to move it so you don't see that blank crap. So once you get it in place, hit enter. All right, and it's going to be a little more subtle than him, but as you can see, it really, really like makes him pop out there. It's really fun. Look at that. All right, so now we're ready to export. We're going to go to file. We're going to go to export. We're going to go save for web legacy. So now that it's loaded in here, you want to back up, you can zoom out. Uh, I always, see how it looks kind of goofy? I always go to original. Um, it's it's just the much cleaner, much prettier looking version. Uh, and for some reason, Photoshop, they always do this ridiculous. <sighs> it's just crazy. So I'm just going to do 2014. It's It just seems, I don't know. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is important also. Uh, under looping options, you want to set it to forever. Uh, that way it doesn't just loop and stop, loop and stop you. After that, we go to save. Um, I was just throwing it on my desktop. And yeah, we'll just call it Jeremy. Geth. Geth, 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 Geth. Geth. Let's, let's take a look at it. Okay. I've been looking at this. Believe that. Look how smooth and clean. It's it's so weird looking, you know? And it's funny, I didn't even mean to do this. Like, like he's like going up to the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> That's so great. So yeah, yeah this is this is the, the final product. It looks really good. Man, this one looks so good. It's so weird. Anyway, well, uh, if you have watched this to the end, I appreciate it. Thank you. But please leave a like. Um, I'm still figuring out what I'm doing with this channel, but it's been fun, it's been a fun journey. Yeah, thank you so much.